This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson. What's happening, you guys? Welcome back to the Let's Go Win Podcast, where we are here to help you be happy, healthy, and wealthy. And what we're going to talk about today, I love what she has coined relaunch we're gonna be talking about relaunch what does that mean and the woman i'm gonna bring on is phenomenal Mm -hmm. i was on her show she is brilliant she's funny she's normal and she's so (laughs) cool as far as you as far as you know (laughs) as far as i know that's fair so hillary de caesar is a successful business expert an author and international of the international bestseller relaunch spark your heart to ignite your life. She is the founder of the relaunch company and is focused on empowering midlife women to experience joy and reimagine what is possible in their personal and professional lives. Hillary's innovative framework, the three HQTM, which we're going to find out all about today has helped thousands of women reinvent their lives, businesses, and relationships. She has been frequently featured on ABC, NBC, Forbes council, and entrepreneur. I mean, where do you find the time, man? You're, you're so busy. <laughs> well, it's so great to be here. And I, as I heard you say, you know, happy, healthy, wealthy. And what we want to be able to do is navigate through all of the relaunches. And for all of the men that are listening out there, and you heard, you heard JM say about this is, you know, I work with a lot of women, I work with a lot of men too. And there, there's, there's this need to understand gender intelligence from both, both ways, right? And so what we really are looking to do is relaunch everybody because we're going to have massive relaunches. It's like, like you've been through, like I've been through. I, I hate the coined uh, title of the relaunch queen. I've, I've looked up to the heavens. I've asked the universe. I've asked God, okay, I'm done. I don't need another. I'm good. And somehow, you know, even in the last month, I had a, a tumor that was in my uterus, but thankfully I just found out the results and it was benign. So I'm like, hey, there's positive relaunches as well. And I'm here to share really how to how to get through the ups and downs and do it so that you can have the happiness, the health and the wealth and you can do it for a very long time. Well, and I love that because look, no gender corners the market on a relaunch. We all have (laughs) challenges as as you know, really quick. And I know we did this off air, but our apricot seeds, anybody with uh, look, I'm not a doctor, but apricot seeds three a day stave off some cancer that's the second time i've used the word stave today but let's talk about really apricot seeds apricot seeds wow i mean we've we've already i've already gotten a lot out of this podcast (laughs) go off there guys just really quick we were talking nutrition we were talking biohacking and things that you know to keep us healthy because real life happens and some of our food is not ideal and i know that's not why we're here today but that's what i love about these podcasts you meet amazing humans like you and we literally were like holy cow we better start this podcast because we're like 10 minutes in and we haven't looked at it so um Tell me where relaunch came from. I won't call you the relaunch queen because I want to hear that again. I'll call you the yeah. relaunch. Queen. So instead of JM, we're not going to say the, you know, the, the RQ. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No, you know, I have to say, I, I've i been from the day that I came onto this earth. Uh, when I was two, I ended up having a near-death experience. And it shifted everything for me, all perspectives. And it allowed for a a huge openness and i felt like i was i felt like i was born into this family that didn't quite get me (laughs) i came in and my dad was a doctor my grandfather was a doctor and i kind of pushed everything away that had anything to do outside of the left brain logical sense of the word and as i continued to I had I had great success. I was at uh, Oracle for almost 10 years and, you know, seven figures. It's all great. 
until it's not, until you wake up and you say, you know what, I'm really not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I, I had been, I I'd had the opportunity to work with some of the most incredible C-suite executives. I had, I had been, you know, I had everything on the outside and yet I was uh, very empty on the inside. And I got an opportunity to leave with the president of Oracle and he was going over to Kleiner Perkins, which was a venture backed uh, venture capital firm that, that invests in tons of entrepreneurs. And he said, hey, would you help the entrepreneurs kind of level up, scale their businesses? And I took a chance and I'm like, I, you know, I'm not sure if this is really my gig, but I loved it. It somehow felt right. I felt like I could use some of the knowledge that was innate, that was almost this gift, this wisdom that I had, my intuition. I could tap into it. And as I coached, uh, at that point, JM, it was called consulting. <laughs> we were talking two decades ago. Um, I realized that I wanted to actually launch my own companies. I had done multiple acquisitions with others. I had had uh, IPOs. I had been available and like working with people um, in the coach capacity. And I loved it. I loved seeing their success. But I also started to notice something. I noticed that people were having different types of transitions that were either elevating them them to the next level with grace and dignity, or it was just absolutely taking them down at the knees. And I thought, wait, we're missing something. Just being a peak performance business coach. Yeah, I get people to you know sell their company for hundreds of millions of dollars. I get people to launch businesses and they never dream that they're gonna be seven figures. But there's also a point where, why are you doing it? What are you in it for? And when you start to question yourself, you start to question, you know, I'm sure you've heard the phrase that's around that, you know, your business is a direct reflection of you. And people would come to me and say, oh, you know, I'm doing everything. I'm doing all the steps. I'm, you know, why, why can't I have that massive growth? And I asked them a very pointed question. And I say, well, how are you growing individually from the inside? Because if your business is a direct reflection, there's something going on here. You know, there's something, you know, not working here. And what can we do? And so I started to incorporate this in and I started to really think like, what is it about your head that gets us so caught up in our head? What is it about our heart, our emotion, our, our empathetic abilities? Why do some people avoid one and focus in on the other? And as we were talking earlier, it's like, and then how, how can we, from a generation that is, it's really was looked down upon somebody tapping into their higher self, their energy level, their intuition. And I thought we're missing the boat. Like we are so wrong in our approach. And with this came this like, almost like a lightning bolt experience. And it happened after the passing of my mom. And it was a sudden passing and she got cancer stage four, boom. Um, this is a woman, my whole, my whole family, all the women in my entire like ancestry live into their early hundreds. And all of a sudden, 77 years old, my mom's, my mom's taken out. And I kept thinking like, what is it? What is it about what is, you know, what, what happens to us where we think we have to be so logical, we have to be so brain-based and it, it goes back to IQ, right? IQ versus EQ. Well, 3HQ, which is what I created, is all about taking IQ and EQ to the next level. It's all about like really, stepping into this this point where you're like there are there's wisdom that we should be tapping into there is there are universal laws that are just like there for the taking and most importantly you have the power source within you and i have seen 
JM, I've seen the most incredible, some would call it magic, but I know that the magic is literally me handing over a, a wand and saying, you got it inside of you, just tap, just tap in. Yeah, see, I, I just have to for a second, because I love this, as we talked about, you know, I had a crazy experience this morning. This wasn't stuff that I was taught, right? This wasn't because the IQ or the science, which by the way, everything you're talking about actually has a ton of science behind it with energy and all the things you're talking totally. about. How do you get people that are skeptical, Hillary, when they're like, no, that's woo woo, which isn't allowed to say on my show, but I said it. But when they say that and you're like, no, you have magic, you have a power, you have a gift, you have a bright light inside of you that has been stifled and it's you're you're not allowing it to come to fruition because you experienced this, I'm guessing, when you came into you, really what fulfilled you and really brought the greatest <laughs> self of Hillary out, how do you get somebody to say yes? Say, I want that too, because often I'm encountered with skepticism and ah, JM, this is way out there. What what are you seeing when when that happens? So it's really interesting. Um, I I vibrate at a very high level of energy. And the people that come to me are literally like, I'm ready to take my game. I'm ready to take what I'm doing with my business. I'm ready to really encapsulate everything about my life and have a lifestyle of success that is really based around me. Because once they, once they have this realization that they, they have this invisible barrier and they're like, I don't know what's going on, right? I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything right, but I'm not, I'm not where other people are. And I comparison is usually where they come to me and they're like, you know, this person has that. And I, 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 I'm, I'm smart enough. I'm good enough. I got this, I got that going for me. I have all the work experience. It's then I say, what if I could, and, and I come from again, that logical, very much brain-based, you know, left side, give me the steps, give me the procedures, give me the systems. What if I were to tell you that deep inside of you, you actually have the biggest power source that we can tap into and that instead of feeling like you're pushing, it will be this automatic, just it's coming to you. It's pulling in. It's like, it's a, it's a force of nature. It's something that you have already. And I'm I'd often, I'll say, you know, Hey, who knew woo could be so good for you. But if I'm telling you that I've seen thousands you know i've hit the big the big numbers i have i have what most would dream of as a lifestyle of success but i've also had all the shit along the way i've had my own you know melanoma i've as i just explained you know i have i had a tumor that would just came out thank god it was benign but when you had cancer once you get like heightened level of of stress i've lost my dad my mom We've had suicides in our family. We've had car crashes that killed my grandparents. We've had my own business where there was a Ponzi scheme that was done with one of my board members. Mm. He ended up in federal prison for three years. And I, I look at this and I, I say, hey, the best part about it is you always want to work with someone that believes, believes that you can do it right? Because there's a lot of people that have never seen it, never had it, I, you know, and they, and they, a lot of times they come to me and they say, I feel like an, I'm an imposter. Everyone thinks I'm a seven, eight, nine figure business owner, and I'm barely scraping by my profit margins are, you know, in the, in the dirt. And I, I immediately say, here's the best part. Somehow we've connected. Somehow you have gotten yourself into the orbit of relaunch. And if you're willing today to say today is literally going to be the biggest relaunch you've ever had in your life, then we're meant to work together. And I don't have to, I don't have to, I, I shouldn't say that. I do have to, because too many people are like, that's great, Hillary, that other side of what you, what you go into, but we're going to just focus on, you know, I really want to just 
in the three HQ, head, heart, higher self. I'm willing to do the head. You know, we'll tap into that heart thing. Yeah, I know I need to be, you know, more empathetic, but you know, the other stuff. And then you know what happens? Jam, they end up saying, and it happens within a very short amount of time because I blast them. I mean, I literally go head first into this. Within the first 30 days, they say, are we going to do more of that? Because that's kind of really, wow, I never knew. I never knew that this could be a possibility. I never knew that I could break through such barriers. I didn't know that I could feel good this amount of time. Like it's not, it doesn't need to be the relaunch roller coaster. The highs, the lows, the highs, the lows. You literally, life will happen. Yes, there's always going to be, you know, something. And, and again, it could be around the corner for you tomorrow. It could be happening right this second as we're, as we're, we're talking. And for those that are going through situations and circumstances that are happening to you, I want you to just breathe into it and understand. And I've done this now for over, I think, 150. And as JM said, he was on my show as well. There will be a silver lining. I haven't met one person who's come on and literally told me the most, like we, we were talking horrific, people can't survive this, to I asked the question, if you could go back and, and change things, would you? Not one person has ever said that. You talk, you talk evidence, that's evidence. Evidence is that you will get through it, you will. And I'm here right now saying to you, you're going to get through it. But sometimes we need assistance along the way. Sometimes we need, you know, like if you're trying to up level your game of golf or your tennis or whatever you're, you're into skiing, we need someone to kind of notice our blind spots. Notice like, did you know you're doing this? Did you know you're popping your head up when you're swinging the club? Did you know that, you know, I mean, and when you hear it, all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh and the lights come on and in 3hq when you've got your head and i call in the head we all have limiting beliefs we all do i've only met one person she was a she was a um high high level reporting right to the ceo of a fortune 50 company and she said i don't have any bugs these beliefs underground surfacing no bugs no limiting beliefs i've been working on, on myself forever and I said, okay, you're literally the first person I've ever met, but people that work for you do. So when you can get out of your own way, when you can stop telling your stories repeatedly to justify your stories and realize that there's this amazing thing that happens as you sit there and say, your business is a direct reflection of you. And you're saying, it's not growing, it's not growing. I'd flip it back to you. And in that higher self space, I call it the G zone, the growth zone, the great zone, the gratitude zone. I throw it back and I say, so if your business is a direct reflection of you, what are you doing in the G zone? What are you doing for yourself with growth? How are you expanding? And this is part of expansion, understanding that you have an innate power, personal power that when you like a Tesla, <laughs> when you put the charge into you and you allow for that symbiotic relationship of, of being one with your 3HQ and alignment, I mean, it, I've never seen to date somebody who came to me and said, I got this goal. Can we reach it? I've never seen to date me ever saying no, because I know, I know, I know what can happen. I know what can manifest. And, you know, when you think about being a manifestation magnet, what it really means is getting yourself to that higher level, that higher energetic level, since everything is energy and pulling in more of that into your life. Which means that when you get there, when you get to the point and you have happiness and you have health and you have wealth, you're at a place where you can appreciate it. You're at a place that you're like, yeah, 
this is where I want to hang out some more. Now, I want to dive in more on the belief side because I agree with you. I, I, I'm like, I'm in and I am with you. We are energetic beings. Yeah. It does start. And I love the way you're like, we, let's start here. We're going to start right with you. And when people are like, it's not growing, look, whatever you focus on expands. So if you keep saying that shit, you're right. It's absolutely not going okay. to grow. So let's talk about belief. When you dive in and you say, hey, tell me what you really believe and the story. I love the word story because every one of us tell ourselves a story. Some are really good. Some are really bad. Some are inherited. And that's where I want to really get the audience to be like, guys, it does start with your thoughts and what you believe. And it's so funny because I literally just ordered three Ted Lasso believe posters <laughs> for my boys. That's and so one great. Family. Yeah. <laughs> but let's start there because so many people, I think this is where they get caught up. They don't believe. And whether you, you do or you don't, right? You're right. If you don't believe, you're going to be right. But if you can lend yourself over to the belief that I am the greatest coach or whatever, as I'm wearing my coat shirt, but let's start with that belief. What, how do we get people to change that story and really start believing in them? Is it the testimonials and everything you've done? Is it you checking them? How, how do you get them to really get mm -hmm. that belief? So first off, I love the quote you said, because Henry Ford, you know, when we talk about what we're talking about right now, this isn't new. There's a fabulous book that is The Wisdom of Florence Scovel Shin, and it's written in like the 1930s. You've got Rich, or Think, Think and Grow Rich, which, which was, you know, highlighting all of the most wealthy individuals in those early, you know, 20s and 30s. Here's the thing. When we know that others have been able to do things, you become the, the, the keeper of your own kingdom. And I like to say it that way because when you think about being limitless versus being limited, when you know that you aren't where you thought you would be at this point, in your life, in your relationships, a relationship with yourself, relationship with others in business, the relationship, you know, that you have with loved ones or lack of. I got a lot of people that are like, hey, you know, my company is exactly where I want to be. And yet my kids won't talk to me. My wife and I are, you know, struggling and looking at, you know, divorce. And yes, I've been through divorce, <laughs> but I've come out the other end and I haven't absolutely for the last 10 years, I've been with the most incredible man. And I, I, I literally share these things because I've, I've used the system. I've seen it work. And I've also had to go into the muck of the mess and be able to say, yeah, there were generational hangups. There were beliefs that no doubt, and, and I can still hear my dad when I was young saying, you know, you got to work hard so you can play hard. Well, damn, I played hard. <laughs> <laughs> the, the work part didn't come until I was, you know, at, pretty much in college, but I mean, I played. So I'm like, you know, that type of mentality. Think about what you remember hearing. Think about what you remember from your parents, from the house, from your grandparents, from just like think, give yourself. And, and you and I talked about this where, you know, you had this moment with, of meditation. You know, people get caught up even in the word meditation, even in the word journaling. I don't care what you call it. All I want you to do, and I call it in the book, the pause principle. It's the idea that we race so fast that we can't ever give ourselves a moment to pause to reflect. That's it. That's all I want people to do is reflect. So when you think of empowering beliefs, a lot of times, you know, they say for every three 
or for every one negative thought, you need three positive thoughts to counterbalance it. So if that's the truth, let's start with some of the things that are empowering for you. What are some of the strengths? What are some of the things that you've actually done that have worked out in your favor, right? Once you start there, you just sit and pause and you just think about it. I always say you have to have those three in your pocket to pull out at any time because you're going to need them. Three of those. Then you go into, all right, the ones that are not the bugs, the beliefs underground surfacing, the judges. And I always have people name their bugs, name it. That, that son of a bitch that's, you know, telling you you're not good enough or that you're not lovable or that you're not safe. You're not going to be able to pay the bills, all those. Let's name it. And then you can start to focus on not so much about getting rid of it because neuroscience has shown us that it will take 60, almost 67 days for that, that to work its way out and to create a new empowering belief. But what you can do is start with the awareness part. Start to be aware that like, hey, where did that come from? Where did that come from? Because guess what? Clean slate when you come into this world and then it's the environment, it's the parents, it's, you know, we become, um, you know, almost like domesticated, <laughs> like we're a dog, right? These things that come at us. And so as you're really looking at this, think about becoming aware and giving yourself the grace of understanding, understanding, hey, you know what? I just like to ask the question, is it empowering you or is it completely like victimizing you? And most of the time, it's the victim. It brings out the victim in us. And if that's the case where you could start to say, you know, hey, I want to be a victor versus a victim. I want to be a victor. That's when we can start to work on getting past it. That's when we can start to do a belief blaster to actually get past that. That's when we can tune in, which is one of the easiest steps of 3HQ to do. It's a four-step process. You literally tune in. What's a challenge that's going on in your life? Do we have time to, that I could take you through it really fast? Yeah, let's do it. Of, of course. Okay. Okay. And I know, Jam, you're so great because you're so willing to, <laughs> to, to, to be the guinea pig here. So I want you to think about, and again, tune in. The number one goal for tune in is it's something that you can use as a pocket tool all day long. Whenever you're about to start to do something else, you're going to go write a, um, a post, you're going to go do a story, you're going to go on negotiation, you're going to go um, jump on a call with somebody that you want to coach, you're going to go on a stage, whether it's 10 people, you know, 20,000, it doesn't matter. You can always use tune in because too many of us are tuning out. We just go into the next meeting. We go into the next thing that we're working on. We go into the next, whatever it is. Before I got on this podcast, I tuned in. I tuned into your energy. I tuned into my own energy. I tuned into number one, tune in. Number one, step one is either what's your biggest challenge going on right now or what's your intention? Because sometimes you're, I'm getting on a stage and it's to, you know, it's to really connect with the 500 people in the audience, right? The intention is to elevate people. So I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to switch it to the, the challenge because I really do want to nail this one for people. What's your biggest challenge right now in your business? My biggest challenge in my business is not going after the shiny object because man, am I a consumer? Oh, so many great things that I could do. That's my biggest challenge. Okay. I love that. And I'm sure people out there right now are, are saying, yep, shiny penny, the squirrel moving around like, oh my God, that, that could work. And that's a good idea. And I could do that. I and do we that. all, and you know what? I think you have what I have, which is that I can do that syndrome. Well, I can, oh, do that. Good I can do that. I can do that. But then you don't end up doing anything well. So let's, let's go into that. That's step one. Step two is changing your channel. Okay. So imagine 
If you have a challenge, and as Einstein said, you can't solve a problem at the conscious level it was created. You can't solve a problem at the level it was created. You got to elevate yourself. There's a reason that you might be feeling stuck, that you might be feeling overwhelmed or underwhelmed. It's because you're trying to get out of that state at the same state. You're trying to figure out the answer at the same state where you don't need to do that. What we need to do is elevate your energy level. So when you ask the questions around getting out of that state, getting out of that challenge, you get the answers from a higher level, okay? So I want you to think about what is your favorite song that lights you up? That when you hear it, you're like, yeah, it kind of like puts you in that, that mindset of like, yeah, what would that song be for you? It's Rabbit Run by Eminem. I will run through a brick wall right now if I hear it. And I Okay, awesome. This is so good. Okay, Rabbit Run. I want you, because this is still step two, you're changing your channel. You've gone from a level, I, you know, when I'm working with people, I ask them levels of every single area of their, you know, finance, their business, their everything. But right now we're just going to sit there and we're going to say, all right, you're going to hear Rabbit Run. You're going to take it from your head to your toes, you're going to let it like flow like a wave through your body. Okay. Close your eyes. I know we're on video, but close your eyes. And I want you to just move, changing your state, listening to that song. Yep. Throw back those shoulders, move the arms, people listening, do the same thing. Understand this is a process that anyone can use multiple times throughout the day. Okay. JM, can you hear it? Mm. Uh, yes. 100%. Okay. Can you can you turn it up a notch? Turn it up. So now you're really hearing it. Now you're in that 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 change of the channel. You're tuning in. So now you can open your eyes because you're at the level. And we're going to go into step three. Step three brings neuroscience together with your heart center. And what we're going to do is I want you to think about if you didn't follow the shiny object if you were so laser focused what would that look like to you what would that image of you having that massive amount of focus you're not squirreling around tune back into your song and i want you to shut your eyes and as you're thinking about this you're creating these images in your mind i am going to ask you to see a color in the image. Do you see a color right now of you in your element? You're like, I am so focused. What color is, is resonating with you in that image? That would be green for me. Okay, I want you to 10X the green, amplify the green, make it so vivid. Again, we are lighting up your brain right now. I want you to feel the emotion, the heart center of this, like this is your existence. This is what you are meant to be doing. And now I'm going to ask you to open and close your eyes quickly. When I say the word click, you're going to do it three times, taking not an external picture, but an internal picture. All right. So you're going to open and close your eyes, not like not even focusing on something on the outside, but really, truly focusing on that image in the inside and the green. Click, click, click. Awesome. You now have three pictures in your photo album of you, which has also an element of connection with your heart base. So you've got head from step one, which is all around what are you going, you know, what's challenging you. Step two is that tapping into your higher self, the energy level. Step three, the heart and now open your eyes and I want you to tune in again to your song. So rabbit run. And I want you to think about right now, because you're operating at a higher level. I want you to think about that image, that green. And what would you be able to do right now when we're done with this podcast right now, before you go do anything else, that would create momentum towards that image, towards that picture. What could you do? Tune back into Rabbit Run. And what could you do? Oh, 
abundance is the word that comes to mind. The videos that I have to do would be mm -hmm. like, boom, done. Okay. Just one. I want this to show you <laughs> that you are literally tapping in to the three HQ as we're going through this, because the last step four is really getting back to the head. It's a constant ever loop. It's a constant. So what could you do one thing to show yourself to prove to yourself the energy flow is going towards that so one video what could you do with that one video and do you know which video it is oh, a thousand percent okay tell us uh it's a video i uh, on a very polarizing figure ron desantis okay okay so great you are going to create that video how long will it take you It'll take me 60 seconds. 60 seconds. That's what I'm talking about. It's not the whole library. It's picking that one. And then as soon as you're done with that, it's that moment of clarity again to go back to step three and that picture and be like, yeah. And then you go ahead and say, all right, what's next? But then tomorrow when you go back, you go back into the same song, that song, Rabbit Run is now attached to specifically this challenge. You could have it be attached to all of them. You could have a new song. You could have whatever it is that's going to light you up. But right now, when I first start working with people, I say, just focus on that one. I want you to see the proof here of tuning in. And again, you can use it. I use it every time I'm about to go do something different on my calendar. I tune back into the four steps. I got my song. I even have a song of the day because I know what's coming tomorrow and I can, you know, I wake up and I've been doing this for, I can't even, like 10 to 15 years. And my husband even expects me when I come down, I'll be dancing to my song dancing because I want to continue to elevate myself. That's when things happen. It's the quantum, right? Quantum field. It happens so fast because I'm already there. I'm already at that level, just like you were right then and there. I love it. Here's why, because you, you incorporated two different things that I do. One, I call the song, my trigger. I use it all the time. Mm, so and good. then the screen of the mind is what I call the, the click, right? Mm. And I literally was in Ireland, the greenest hillside, and I'm, I'm in it with the song playing, and I'm just rolling. And I can go back to it like that. It's, yep. it's really cool. I want to say a word because it's really an important word to me, and I'm curious your thoughts on it. Mm. I say the word abundant. What does that mean to you? So the best part about abundance is that it really, it takes wealth, finance, money, and it changes the value you're placing on it. Abundance is an energetic, you can have, I look outside right now, I'm in Boulder, Colorado, and I see we've had so much rain lately. It is as green. Everything is blooming. There is an abundance of leaves, of flowers. It's when you start, as you said earlier, when you focus on something, that's what you get back. So we focus on one thing too many times, right? We're focused on, I got to, you know, I want to make more money, more money, more money. But what if instead you start focusing on the abundance that's surrounding you, you start to become aware of what is there. I'm looking at this mirror and it's got an abundant amount of sticks in the mirror. What if I start to just focus on that part of it? That's when abundance, that's when this level of energy that abundance is everywhere. Abundance is everywhere and money it's just part of it. Money is just one of the, the values that we, that we place on something as we pay for something that we're doing, as we're receiving something that we have done. But really the abundance is so much bigger, so much more valuable when you think about happiness and health and wealth 
that's when it all really starts to it, it just it three it's the three hq that's what three hq is based around abundance abundance of your mindset abundance of your heart abundance of the thoughts and the emotions that you're creating yeah, it's really been a, it's been a really important word for me over mm -hmm. the last I'll say five years. Mm -hmm. I, I dabbled with it for a decade, but really a focal point for me is that word, mm -hmm. and it's it's just it's the word that setting intention. It mm -hmm. is in my intention every single morning. I want to ask you one have other. Have you before before you move on? Can I ask you? Have you read John Randolph's The Abundance Book? I have not. So it's the smallest book you'll read. And it's the most impactful for developing true abundance mindset around everything. It is so good. And they talk about the 40 days. It takes 40 days. You go through it. They give you something to focus every day. It is incredible. I've done it probably it. 10 times. I, I love it. In fact, you just reminded me. I'm like, you know, haven't done that in a few months. I it's it's incredible, and I think you'll really enjoy it. There are certain books that I I do every single morning, right? I do Tao Te Ching every morning. I do mm. um, change your thoughts, change your life. I mm. I will a hundred percent. I will go the order little green book. little green book. So good. Awesome. Uh, one other thing I want to ask you before we start to kind of you have there's so many things I want to ask you. But specific with energy, and you mentioned looking outside, and I'm such a big proponent of grounding, utilizing the world, the earth, mm -hmm. the, the energy that is available to us. And again, this is this mm -hmm. science. This is literally if you want to reengage. Do you use this in your practice often, really grounding on a, on a daily basis? So I... Um had the privilege of meeting um, a gentleman, a shaman uh, about, I think it's now been about seven years ago and I've been working with him. And I've always felt a really deep connection out in nature, whether I'm skiing, hiking, um, running. I just, I really connect. That's how I ground myself. And when I first, started working with him. And, and of course it was divine intervention because I met him a few years before my mom even got sick. And I was like, what's up with this? Why, you know, this is kind of crazy. Why is he this? Why am I bringing in this guy into my world? Like, I don't really need him. Oh, I needed him more than I ever could ever imagine. But he, he made me start to pause and take my shoes off and really feel the earth below. And to be able to, whether I'm at the beach, whether I'm in the desert, whether it doesn't matter, but there's, whether I'm at Chautauqua Park and I'm hiking, that moment of, and there's so much meaning behind taking your shoes off. There's so much, I, I, we don't have time to go into it, but just, just think about that, okay? You got your shoes, you're taking them off and you're connecting. You're connecting with something so much bigger than you. But the best part is that you are part of it because everything is energy. So it's almost like, again, your power source to something so huge. But we go so fast. We're running. We're, you know, racing through. We're like, I got an hour to do my hike today. I got to get it done. Instead, wouldn't it be more valuable to say, you know what, I'm going to hike for 15 minutes, but I'm going to give myself that true connection to earth, to the sun. Same thing can go with the sun. And, you know, it's, it's such a shame we've gotten into such a habit of, and hey, I had melanoma. I wear sunblock all the time, but having the warmth of the sun on our skin, having the connection, and that's where that's for the grounding, the grounding of just understanding that we are one with everything. It's just such a cool, cool way to, you know, you talk about needing, you know, you don't need drugs, you don't need uh, alcohol, you don't need anything. It's like, that's the biggest high you can get. 
Yeah, I so agree. And by the way, guys, it's free to you. Go outside, yeah. put your feet on the ground, and you don't have to sit there for hours. Literally do it five minutes a day, yeah. just more than what you're doing now. I literally have a book full of questions, and we don't have time. So uh, quickly, if there's anything I didn't ask you that you just want to make sure you get it off your heart, and then obviously, where can people find you? Because mm. we all need Hillary in our life. I, and I'm so blessed that that um, we're introduced. There's just this really amazing bond that we had immediately. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I just feel very grateful. But I want to give you that opportunity, open forum, anything I didn't ask you, and then where people can really connect with you. I think the biggest challenge people have is when they are trying to take the first step towards getting involved in 3HQ and really don't get overwhelmed by anything. Start with, start with tuning in, like just start there. And then what I always say is it's always good to figure out where you are today so that we can get you to where you ultimately want to go. And if you go to our website, there is a fabulous quiz that will help you understand, are you in your head? Are you in your heart? Or are you actually like tapping into your higher self? And it'll give you the percentages on each one. It's a great, um, it's a great awareness quiz because it kind of is like, whoa, I didn't realize I was doing that. Because then you can start to say, I really want to bring all of them together. And so you can go to the relaunch.com therelaunch.com, scroll down a bit, and there's the quiz. And from there, um, we send a free video that helps you understand a little bit more about being in your head or being in your heart or being in your higher self. And yeah, I think that when you open yourself up, again, who knew woo could be so good for you, everybody out there, hey, you got this source, why not tap it? Brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Hillary, I am so glad you came and just shared uh, again. We, we'll probably have to do it again because I have so many more things. But thank you. You're just you're an amazing being and someone that I'm just I feel blessed to have my in my circle. JM, I feel the same. I really do. And you know what? I'm even going to throw this out when you get back from your trip. Um, let's do the 40 day challenge together. Um, you just text and we'll make that happen. So you um, got to get that. You got to get the book and then, and then let's do that. The abundance book, everybody join us, yeah. join us on this. I'm going to do it with Hillary. I will let you know when it starts. Everybody can do it. Perfect. You guys share this. There's so many good things. And like she said, whether you're a man, a woman, anyone can do this. And she made it so simple. And yet that picture is right there. Share this with someone that can benefit because it's a huge huge win. Remember your mindset matters until next time. I appreciate you all. We'll talk soon. Thank you so much for listening. If this content is delivering value to you, please make sure to subscribe, rate, and review us. That helps us build this community. And that is what we are all about. Building this community as big as we can, helping as many people as we can, and deliver as much value as possible. Be sure to head over to letsgowinpodcast.com for information on my coaching courses and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at Let's Go Win 365. Let's go win and transcend in life. This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson.